Hi, this is Shadi and today I want to take a deeper and closer look at two of Shohei Ono's techniques and these are the Uchimata and the Osoto Gari. He does them rather very well and exceptionally and this is why he's such a great and unstoppable champion. And today I want to take a look at these two techniques but first I want to thank you all for 400 subscribers. Just at the beginning of last month I was celebrating my new degree and also thanking you for 200 subscribers. This is really amazing. Thank you all for your interactions and open debates in the comments and your suggestions also. So let's begin. First we start with the Uchi Mata. Now, I've been looking at it and I see a lot of resemblance and similarities to Joshiro Maruyama. Here we see the same stabs in deep and pulls and flares up the elbow. However, we can see that Ono really plants his head in the ground uh, while doing it and it shows true uh, hip and groin flexibility while doing this. And this is what makes it special. Now. Uh, he is fighting in a heavier category than Maruyama now. The Uchimata will not look like he was doing it in the minus 66, just glides there. Um, you can see there's a slight push with the back of the leg and sometimes he does like a Ken Ken, but overall it is very similar to Maruyama. He stabs in, it's an Oikomi Uchimata, flares up the elbow as a Kuzushi and really bends forward. Uh, almost planting his head into the mat in order to truly destabilize the opponent and reaps the inner thigh with the leg that's held up the first leg that he stabs with it. Now let's talk about his Osoto Gari. Now his Osoto Gari is very interesting even Neil Adams had to talk about it. First let's talk about the grip it's a lapel and armpit grip. Notice it's not a sleeve and lapel grip. And also he does it where his opponent is almost to his side where he spins out. Look here we can see Haidarov uh, almost to his side. So it's kind of like a Osotogari slash Ashiguruma and I think the way he wants them on their side because it's hard for them to counter and they will easily be destabilized. Uh, look here, we can see them falling to the side. So it's almost like an Ashiguruma. And with the grip, uh, it's cl his hands are closer together, preventing the dominant arm to go all the way up his shoulder. And he can also attack with it here, one of his most famous Osotogaris. And Neil Adams also said that he has a foot that's far more forward than the other because in case he gets countered he can just retreat it and goes back to square one. So his Osotogari has a lot of subtleties and intricacies uh, into it and uh, which makes it a uh, very interesting technique. It's a mix between Osoto and Ashiguruma the way uh, his opponent is standing. Um, the angle in particular and also the grip um, it to keeps his hand closer and drive them both together on the ground and also prevent the dominant arm from getting on his shoulder it's something he learned from Kosei in a way that's for sure I've already talked about him in my judoka profile episode in the Kumikata and also he has a foot that's kept back uh, in order to retreat if his opponent is far stronger so that's mainly his Osotogari. So in short, it's an Oikomi Uchimata, clearly uh, inspired by Inoue. Um, he teaches them, so it's no big surprise that he has an influence on both Maruyama and Ono. And also the Osotogari with the Kumikata, clearly stemming from Kosei Inoue, the underarm grip and the lapel to protect and also being in an offensive position. So we can see the generations, how they are taking from each other. Um, the Oikomi Uchimata stabbing in the leg deep and also reaping with it, flaring the elbows, etc. The Osotogari, same thing, almost like an Ashiguruma, like Inoue. And also, once again, 
thank you for 400 subscribers. I can't thank you enough for your interactions and uh, your comments and your suggestions. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.